It's time now for our weekly feature, Bloomberg University. We take a look at a word or phrase that's in the news and explain how it all came about and what it means to you. Let's go to Dominic Chu. He's in the Data Center with today's segment. Well, Mark, earlier this week, we heard all about these two big-to-fail banks, the systemically important financial institutions. So let's describe what exactly constitutes a too big to fail bank or insurance company. Well, first of all, this is an institution that has grown so large that its failure would devastate the economy, requiring a government intervention or a bailout. Key operative word there. So again, it's so big that if it does manage to go down, it requires a government bailout. You'll also hear it referred to as a SIF. Again, an SIFI or a systemically important financial institution. All of these things mean the same thing. Too big to fail, SIFI, systemically important financial institution. Now, what exactly constitutes a bank or insurance company or institution that is too big to fail? Identifying what these SIFIs are. Well, the Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland actually talked about four different things. The four C's, they called them. First of all, contagion. What one institution does because of its trading relationships its relationships in the industry, will that failure have an effect on other institutions in the industry? So is there a contagion type effect? Number two is correlation. Do these banks, these industry participants function in the same way? Do they take the same kinds of risks as other banks do? So if one goes down, do they all go down? That's important. Correlation is another big key. Then there's the concentration in the industry, is there one player that's massive, that's larger than all of the other ones? Think AIG, the insurance giant back during the financial crisis, a much larger institution than many of its other peers. That concentration's big, and then there's context, right? What happens if these institutions function normally in a normal operating environment, but if the economy goes bad, maybe they go along with it. You gotta put all of these banks and their institutions in context. It's one of the main reasons why the lead lawyer at the Federal Reserve, Scott Alvarez, their general counsel says the perception that some institutions are too big to fail reduces the incentives of shareholders, creditors, and counterparties of these firms to constrain excessive risk taking. Because they're too big to fail, maybe that means they're too big to regulate as well. And Ben Bernanke at the Federal Reserve says we need to be working in the direction of eliminating it entirely. So Mark, too big to fail, a big focus among regulators in this day and age. Back over to you.